Right. The two police vehicles parked right in the middle of the road are at the last turn leading to the Kansangati residence of the four-time former presidential candidate Dr. Kiza Vesije. The camouflage police personnel from the field force unit reinforced by covert operatives are in place to stop anyone from crossing beyond the point. Not even this team of lawyers led by the Lord Mayor Arias Lukwago found it easy to go through the point. Oh, just, just, just a minute, just a minute. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, now a, a different matter altogether. We want to interface with him. Oh, sit off. Okay. Lord Mayor, for all the due respect, you can do it some other time, but not today. No, listen, not some other time. Any other time you can come. Like okay. when? Any other time. If we an hour was lost in negotiations between the lawyers and the deployed personnel who repeatedly appealed to be given time to make consultations on phone. Phone number five? Yes. yes. Okay, just five, a minute. Two, three, okay, just five. a minute. The five lawyers were later allowed in on condition that they registered in the visitor's book. Which purpose should I put here? Because you're visiting your client. Only your purpose. Yes. No. Something that Lukwago later said, this day had rebuked. He demands that practice should stop forthwith. That police should stop that practice of registering people who are coming to his home. Because this is not a police station, this is not a police barracks, this is not a police post, this is his private property. The lawyers say the blockade in its fourth day is in contravention of the law since the courts of law have twice ruled against it. The alternative, we have instructions as his lawyers to file an application to the court, which we shall do immediately here after here for, for the relevant remedies, which include damages. And we have said, and he has said that we should sue the Attorney General for every penny that he's worth. The security forces have more than once besieged Vesige's home, keeping him for over a month at his residence in some of the cases. The team of lawyers committed to have the police served with previous court orders for which they commit to take further action if not respected. There is a further demand that police should respect a court order which was issued earlier on, the one which was issued by the Kasanga Chief Magistrate Court here, and another one issued by the High Court to the effect that his home should not be turned into a prison. On the other hand, the police called on Dr. Vesje to follow the law. Uh, he did not give any notice uh, to the police, uh, which contravened the provisions of the Public Order Management Act, that is Section 5, which was not declared unconstitutional and uh, therefore uh, is still uh, very active. Vesje was pushed back to his home where he has been kept against his will since Thursday over an attempt to lead a public protest in a repeat of his 2011 demonstrations against the high cost of living. How do you force my gate open? Huh? How are you going to force my, my gate open? Jackson Onyango, NTV. I'm, I'm home. This is